Hey everyone, it's Justin Rabinowitz, Strive to Move. And what I want to do over the next couple video clips is talk, break down the kettlebell swing. So it's, it's one of my favorite exercises, and it's a great exercise, but it's one that's commonly done uh, incorrectly that could lead to injury or just not getting the results that you want. Um, so we're going to give a bunch of short clips about the different aspects of the swing, and hopefully as we put them all together, we'll be able to come up with a really good swing. The first tip that we're going to talk about is proper foot position. Okay? So when I see one of the common flaws I see with the kettlebell swing is people do the same thing they do with their squat, which is turn their feet out and wide. Now this is good for a squat if you need to because it clears your ankles and your knees. The problem with a kettlebell swing is that we're not really using a bunch of knee movement, it's mostly from the hips. So the tip is we want to be about a little wider than shoulder width apart, but we want our toes to be straight ahead. So not here, but our setup is always going to be here. So about a little wider than shoulder width and toes straight ahead. All right, next clip we're going to talk about proper bending patterns. Thanks. Hinge versus the squat. Okay, so the first video we talked about foot position. Real quick, feet shoulder width apart and straight ahead. Shoulder width apart and straight ahead. We're not wide for the squat. Now, notice how I said squat. One of the other main flaws of a kettlebell swing is as people begin to swing the kettlebell, they squat it as opposed to hinging it. So, the big tip is that this is not a squat, it is a hip hinge. Now, how do we know the difference between a hinge and a squat? It's the level of our hips. So if we are hinging, our hips don't change levels. They stay right on the same plane. If we're squatting, our butts go to the ground. So another easy way to remember this is when you're doing a kettlebell swing, your hips go to the wall, and when you're doing a squat, your hips go to the ground. Okay, so a kettlebell swing, we're not even using the weight yet, but just to see the motion, a swing is butt back and arms up, butt back and arms up, a squat is butt down and up, down and up. So hinge versus a squat. Okay, so just to review, we talked about foot position. So feet shoulder width apart and straight ahead. We do not want to be wide, that's a squat. We don't want to turn out, that's also a squat. Second thing, we talk about a hinge versus, it's going to be a hinge and not a squat. So as we're swinging, our butt goes back and not down. So a hinge goes back, a squat goes down. When we're, when we're doing a kettlebell swing, we want to hinge our hips. Okay, the next step is going to be, is a little complicated, but we're going to talk through it. Head, neck, and back position. Okay, so the thesis of this entire thing is you want your whole spine, your head, neck, and your back to be neutral the whole time. So you wanna create a straight line. One of the ways to visualize this is as we're doing our swing, we use a dowel rod or a PVC pipe and we mimic our spine with it. So I always say three points of contact, head, middle back, and then the lower back. And as we hinge our hips back, we wanna maintain the neutral position. If I do it wrong, watch what happens. My head comes off or I round my back, and that's really bad for your, that's a really bad position. So watch as I hinge my hips back, I stay neutral through everything, okay? One of the common questions I get is people wanna really, really crank their head forward. So they say, shouldn't I be looking up when I swing? Well, the difference between looking up and actually bringing your neck up are different, so watch. I can still look up with my eyes and a little bit with my chin and be neutral. Versus most people, when they get to the bottom of their swing, they'll be here and they'll be this way. This isn't a good position. You do not want to crank your neck. That would be like walking around all day in this position, which we know is incorrect. So remember, neutral neck and your eyes can be up, but we don't want to be cranking at our neck to be upright. All right, so remember, neutral spine. That'll keep your spine nice and healthy so you can continue to do kettlebell swings for a lot of reps. So just to review real quick what we talked about, we talked foot position. Okay, so we want your toes straight ahead. We want a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. That's number one. Number two, we want to hinge our hips. We don't want to squat. So butt to the wall versus butt to the ground. All right? Head, neck, and back position. We've got our PVC pipe. We want to stay neutral the whole time, all the way through, okay? Our eyes can be up, but we don't want our neck to be up. We don't want to be here. We want to stay neutral. Okay, the last, the next thing that we're going to talk about is foot position. 
So what I tend to see a lot of people as they try to rush through their kettlebell swings is as they finish their swing, they actually let their momentum take their heels off the ground and they end up on their toes. So this isn't good because we're not really utilizing our glutes properly and it's just we're all in, ending up in extension. It's not the right position. What we want to do is when we're swinging the kettlebell, we want to keep our feet planted in the ground and swinging through with our feet flat, really pushing through the flat part of our feet and grounding our heels hard into the ground. So I'll show you a couple uh, reps of a bad swing the improper way and now I'll show you a couple better reps with your heels flat. So this is wrong. I see people doing this with their toes, heels off the ground, they're on their toes versus someone that's going to keep their feet on the ground and their heels are down and now we can pop it a little bit better. So remember, heels on the ground, toes flat. We don't want to be up like this. We want to keep our legs together, heels down, foot flat. Thank you.